Welcome to Real Time Farms. Today we're going to be setting up a farmer's market page, which is awesome because you'll be able to embed the slideshow, you'll be able to tag the farmers, you'll be able to see everything in one beautiful space. So here we are on the home page, and we're going to add a farmer's market. And oh, look, I've never done this before, so I'm going to have to sign up. And this is my email, just so the system recognizes who I am. It's not going to be shared with anybody else. And uh, let's see, password that I can remember easily. And you can call me, and this is the name that everyone will be able to see. So, and I have agreed and read. Okay, sign up. Now, we're going to add a farmer's market. Now, the name of my farmer's market is the Capitol Hill Farmer's Market. Look, there it is. So we're going to type it in. And then I'm going to press return. And what return is going to do after I type in the name is it's going to search for all of the markets in the system. Because maybe, because Real Time Forms is crowdsourced, someone's already put that information in. So let's click on Capitol Hill Farmer's Market and see if my market is already in there, because there's no reason to do double work. So let's see. This Capitol Hill Farmer's Market is in Washington, DC. It has all of these nice farms, but I'm not in Washington, D.C., and these aren't any farms that I know of. So we're going to go back on our browser, and I'm going to say this is a different market. And the website is caphillfarmers.com. The description is we are 15 vendors braving the hill to bring you great food. Come and visit us. Uh, contact name and contact email. So this is all stuff that will be available for everybody to see. So the email is manager at cap, caphillfarmers.com. And we're going to leave the rest of that blank. And let's see. We accept credit cards. We accept EBT. And here's where we're going to put in the street address. And we are on Providence, Rhode Island, so I'm going to see 23 Steep Hill Road Drive, Providence, Rhode Island. And our market is happening on a Thursday, and it starts at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Scroll down to that, and it ends at 7 p.m., so people can come and visit after work. Let's see, the first date of our market is in May. So let's click through and have it be May 1st. Good. And then the last day of the market is in October, the last day of October. So we'll just click the last day of October. And we actually also are starting another day. So we're going to add another day because we're doing Saturday mornings as well. And it's the same address, so that's fine. And let's see, Saturday mornings from 8 until um, 1. And the dates are the same. OK, good. So now we're going to submit. And let's see what this page looks like. So now we have a farmer's market page. And what we're going to do is we're going to post some pictures at the market of our farmers. So we're going to click on post a photo and it's going to take us to the upload photo page and we're going to choose some files from our computer. So click on that and then I'm going to highlight some pictures. Open those up. I'm going to leave the farm blank because it's two different farms and I'm going to change the day to a day in the summertime because these pictures were not taken in the winter and I'm going to start upload. Now, the information down here at the bottom talks about how to email pictures directly to real-time farms from your smartphone. So you can attach it with your smartphone and send it to share at realtimefarms.com. So here we are, and we're back on our farmer's market page, and this time we have pictures. So what we're going to do is we're going to tag these pictures with the name of the farm and with the items in the picture. So we're going to click right here where it says tag this photo and it's going to take us to the photo page and what we're going to do is we're going to write down what's in the picture. So we have apples and plums and some peaches and it looks like some cider and we're going to choose a farm and this is seedling fruit farm and we're going to click save. And so now when we come back to our farmer's market page, 
we're going to see that one of the market farmers at our market is the seedling fruit farm. Okay, so we're going to uh, tag the last photo of our upload and we're going to go once again to the picture. We're going to click on tag. It's going to take us to the photo edit page. It's going to give us a chance to put in what is in the picture, which is sweet corn. And we're going to take a look and see if it's in the names of the farms and it doesn't look like it is. So we're going to add a new farm. Bill's Dale's farm. And it's both a farm and a food artisan because uh, they grow um, vegetables and they make um, baked goods out of those vegetables. And it's also in Providence, Rhode Island. And I will tell the farmer so they can fill in the rest of this story and then we will click save. And it will take us back to our market page. And now we have both of these farms listed on the side and we have the fully embeddable slideshow all set to go and our market page is up and running. So this is great. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to people and I'm going to click and I'm going to say to everybody that I am the manager. So if there are any questions or people want to talk to me, then they can do that. Also, we can list volunteers, we can list fans, we can uh, see the story, which is the same story that's up here. And then we'll go back to the What's Fresh page. And there we go. We look forward to seeing the beautiful pictures you'll be sending us. And thank you for joining Real Time Farms.